I think that um, districts have been well aware of the fact that we are going to be using um, online testing and the technology glitches are bound to happen, but I don't think that that's a function of the test itself. And I think that um, anybody who's you know ex experienced any kind of technology glitch understands that it's an ongoing process of developing and uh, perfecting and improving um, the systems that we have in place. And I see this as um, a perfect opportunity to ensure that even our testing um, is in line with sort of the world that we live in everything that we do um, use this technology but yet you know to this point we've still been you know doing something else for these tests it's been interesting for us we didn't increase our our bandwidth or our technology infrastructure to take the park assessment we increased all of those things to give our kids a top-notch educational experience as a byproduct we're ready to give the park assessment. And what I would echo to, to our neighbors is, because I know some of them struggle with having the external bandwidth and just continue to work with outside sources to try and alleviate that concern, but don't let that cripple what you can do inside your building. Not every educator is as tech savvy as the next. So the fact that you may have a breakdown and it's okay, <laughs> it's okay, you'll be able to stop the test. Just, I think knowledge is power and just knowing what your options are and what you can do to be successful um, helped not only the, the, the teachers out, but it helped the students out tremendously. It's creating a conversation around technology that needs to be had because you cannot just put the technology in one place, it has to be everywhere. And that's what Park forced. It forced no matter where you live that you have to have the technology. And I think if we didn't have Park or Smarter Balance, we wouldn't be having this discussion right now. We're in a world of technology and that's just kind of the wave of the future and how things are done. And if you go into a career that is that involves mathematics, chances are you're going to be doing a lot of your work on a computer. For the students, it's their world. To see them toggling, drag and drop, highlight, flag questions, type on a computer, not fill out a bubble on a, on a score sheet, it, that is their world. When they saw that there was a video clip they could watch, they were so they were beyond excited because that's how they learn. They'll go to YouTube, they'll watch a quick video.